హలో గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ టుడే గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐ యామ్ హార్ట్లీ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆల్ ద బాయ్స్ అండ్ గర్ల్స్ ఫార్ ఫిఫ్త్ సెమ్ ఈసీ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ నౌ ఆఫ్టర్ లాంగ్ బ్యాక్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కండక్టింగ్ గూగుల్ క్లాసెస్ నౌ మై సెల్ఫ్ ఎంబీ గడ్డి ప్రజెంటింగ్ ఆర్మ్ కంట్రోలర్ సబ్జెక్ట్ already you have studied microcontroller then you already studied 8 bit microcontroller this is regarding 32 bit microcontroller this subject is for 100 marks theory paper 25 marks internal practical also 50 marks internal also 25 marks and this subject is very very easy if you know the basics of micro controller now we are going to begin a very very interesting subject this is a 32 bit micro controller and its applications are very wide also that is <clears throat> nowadays whatever almost all using electronic equipments all are micro controller based are their equipments that is a single chip which will be performs many functions now introduction to this subject first syllabus to arm controller first what first topic arm embedded system and arm processor it is totally in examination it is coming for 25 marks for 5 marks one question again 5 marks one question 10 marks one question and 5 marks totally 25 marks that is 5 marks three question 10 marks one question totally 25 marks second chapter arm instruction set here also totally 5 marks 5 questions will be there it is also 25 marks then third chapter introduction to arm and thumb programming it is also in examination coming for 20 marks that is 5 marks 4 questions fourth one exception interrupt handling schemes that is marks which is in examination for 20 marks totally 5 marks 4 questions fifth chapter is lpc 2148 arm cpu it is 20 marks 5 marks 2 questions 10 marks 1 questions then sixth one lpc 2148 peripherals totally it is 35 marks question 5 marks 1 question 10 marks 1 question 15 marks 1 question totally 35 marks these are the what course content and pattern of marks of marks which can be you are getting in the examinations first chapter arm embedded systems and arm processor fundamentals second chapter arm in instruction set third one introduction to thumb and arm programming fourth one exception and interrupt handling schemes fifth one lpc 2148 arm cpu then sixth one lpc 2148 peripherals okay now let's unit 1 arm embedded systems and arm processor fundamentals duration is 10 hours the content is what unit 1 risk design philosophy arm design philosophy embedded system hardware AMBA bus protocol, embedded system software, applications, ARM core data flow model, registers, CPSR processor modes, banked registers, pipeline characteristics. This is the unit 1 contents. Similarly, unit 2 ARM instruction set, its contents are mentioned as below. Then unit 3 introduction to thumb and arm programming, 
फोर्थ वन एक्सेप्शन एंड इंटरप्ट हैंडलिंग स्कीम्स फिफ्थ वन एल पी सी टू वन फोर एट आर्म सी पी यू देन सिक्स वन पेरीफेरल्स डिवाइसिस एल पी सी टू वन फोर एट पेरीफेरल डिवाइसिस नाउ यूनिट वन आर्म सिस्टम एंड आर्म प्रोसेसर फंडामेंटल्स वॉट एवर आई हेव शोन इन दिस डायग्राम नो द आई सी एल पी सी टू वन फोर एट इट इज अ सिक्सटी फोर पिन आई सी टोटली सिक्सटी फोर पिन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दिस आई सी इन डिटेल वॉट इज द हाउ इट वर्कस द नेम ए आर एम स्टैंड्स फॉर एडवांस्ड रिस्क मशीन ओके origin of the name arm 7 tdmi t stands for the thumb 16 bit instruction set d stands on chip debug support m stands for enhanced multiplier i stands for embedded ice in circuit emulator hardware to give break point and watch point support already you have studied complex instruction set computers and reduced instruction set computers the arm comes under re reduced instruction set computers and it is abbreviated as a arm advanced risk machine risk machine advanced risk machine means number of instructions it uses very very few number of instructions that is very very few number of instructions and its features compared to 8051 it has got high features okay this is the origin of the name arm7 tdmi on a single chip what alu cpu input output timer everything is will be mount, mounted on a single chip that is you already studied in microcontroller the comparison between microprocessor and microcontroller compared to microprocessor microcontrollers are the superior which will be hardware will be reduced similar way arm 7 td m i which will be consisting of on a single chip everything will be there it can you can debug supporting will be there then t thumb instruction set thumb instruction set that is 32 bit actually it is a 32 bit processor but we can use in thumb mode we can perform 16 bit instruction it supports then d stands for on chip debug support m enhanced multiplier then i stands for embedded in circuit emulator that is hardware to give break break point and watch point support now actually arm arm advanced risk machine it is a 32 bit risk instruction set architecture the relative simplicity it makes suitable for low power devices actually it is used for the low power devices then arm 7 arm 9 arm 11 these are the its versions these are the different versions of the arm processors actually for pipsem we are going to study what arm 7 processor arm 7 arm 9 arm 11 these are the versions and approximately 90% of all embedded systems are the 32 bit risk processors and the one more question arises why we are going to study arm that is it is used extensively in consumer electronics that is consumer electronics means including pdas personal digital assistants it is used in mobile phones digital media 
म्यूजिकल प्लेयर्स हैंड हेल्ड गेम कॉन्सोल्स कैलकुलेटर्स एंड कंप्यूटर पेरीफरल्स सच एज हार्ड ड्राइव्स एंड रूटर्स सी द सिंगल आई सी कैन बी कैपेबल ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग मेनी अदर एक्टिविटीज देन दीज आर्म कंट्रोलर्स कैन बी ऑल्सो यूज इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल सोफेस्टिकेटेड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इक्विपमेंट्स इट इज ऑल्सो यूज इन माइक्रोवेव ओन्स देन इट इज यूज इन सैटेलाइट्स इन प्रिंटर्स इट इज यूज मेनली इट इज यूज इन द मोबाइल्स मोबाइल फोन्स डिजिटल मीडिया म्यूजिक प्लेयर्स देन डिफरेंट गेम गेमिंग्स कैलकुलेटर्स देन लेजर प्रिंटर्स एक्सेट्रा दीज आर द कंज्यूमर एप्लीकेशंस इट इज ऑल्सो यूज इन द वॉट लेटेस्ट बाइक्स वॉट एवर एवरी थिंग विल बी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बेस्ड बाइक्स विल बी देर नो एटोमेटिक हुईच विल बी शोज एंटी लॉक्स एंटी लॉक ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम देन ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल बी मेक्स आयरन एनी बडी कैन टच द बाइक एक्सेट्रा इंटरनली सम वन आई सी विल बी देर हुईच कैन बी प्रोग्रामड इट कैन परफॉर्म्स मेनी फंक्शंस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी arm features first features features means we are going to study its characteristics first one risc reduced instruction set computer first point second one 32 bit general processor it is a 32 bit general processor it has got high performance then low power consumption and small in size these are the special features of arm it has got higher performance in different electronic applications and low power consumption that is battery backup will be more and it is small in size portable you can use anywhere portable also then second one large regular register file it has got different registers r not to r12 different registers are there registers means in microcontrollers you also studied r not to r7 registers here also all registers r not to r12 which can be used for the storage of 32 bit data then it has got two special features load and store architecture that is you can load the data from memory to register register to memory that is load store architecture pipelining this is the one more interesting feature pipelining means it will be what fetch the first instruction then it will be decode then it will be execute that is called the pipeline mechanism which will be used is three stage pipeline fetch decode execute write back fetch means to bring the instruction decode means to convert it into machine language and execute means to perform the whatever the task will be given and it has got uniform and fixed 32 bit instruction then three address instruction three simple three addressing address instruction simple addressing modes next feature conditional execution of the instructions then control over both alu and shifter in every data processing instruction that is in a single instruction it can execute in a single instruction it will be performing two two operations it will be performing two two operations multiple load and store register instructions you can load and store many datas not a single many datas at a time you can fetch you can get the data from the memory you can save the data into memory this facility will be there then ability to perform one clock cycle general shift and alu operation in one instruction coprocessor instruction interfacing 
that is different mathematical functions it will be performing then thumb architecture thumb architecture means it is a part of the arm mode which can perform the 16 bit instruction set that is compressed 16 bit instruction set will be there then now we are coming to what risk design philosophy RISC means Reduced Instruction Set Computers. Risk simple but powerful instructions that execute within a single cycle at high clock speed. That is instructions are very very simple and in a single clock cycle which will be executing dat data that is instructions it can executing very very fast four major design rules first one instructions reduced set single cycle or fixed length pipeline decode in one stage no need for microcode pipeline means it will be fetch decode execute operation it is called the pipeline procedure it will be take the data from the memory decoding and executing procedure. Registers. A large set of general purpose registers. Second one. Load and store architecture. Data processing instructions apply to registers only load store to transfer data from memory. Results in simple design and fast clock rate. Then it is also called risk design philosophy. Here the two figures shows first one CISC compiler code generation processor. The processor has got greater complexity in CISC that is complex instruction set computer coming to risk design philosophy compiler it is a compiler processor compiler greater complexity will be there for compiler then code generation processor will be same the only difference between CISC and risk is what in CISC processor will be greater complexity that is very very complex hardware will be there then in risk compiler designing greater complexity will be there this is called the risk and CISC design philosophy in a risk design philosophy it has got powerful instructions execute within a single clock cycle then in our ARM processor advanced risk machine which will be executing in a single clock cycle it will be executing three three instructions at a time which will be speed up the processor now the question will be coming why risk and why CISC CISC complex instruction set computers risk reduced instruction set computer there is a comparison will be there CISC R depends upon hardware risk R depends upon software then in CISC processor multiple instruction size and formats will be there in risk instructions of the same set with few formats will be there in a CISC there is a number of registers will be very very less in a risk there is a number of registers will be more then in CISC more addressing modes will be there more addressing modes will be there that is large number of addressing modes will be there in a risk only few number of addressing modes will be there in CISC extensive use of microprogramming 
it is required in risk complexity in compiler complexity in compiler will be there in sysc instructions take a very a varying amount of cycle time that is it will be taking executing the instructions different different time period will be required in risc instructions take only one cycle at a time then in sysc pipelining is difficult that is it can execute only one instructions at a time in risc it will be executing one or more instructions at a time this is the comparison between risc and sysc that is complex instruction set computer reduced instruction set computers sysc sir depends totally on hardware risc sir depends totally on software then very few number of instructions are there in case of risc more number of instructions are there in sysc then risc design or risc computers uses only more number of registers it will be uses sysc uses less number of registers then addressing modes coming to addressing mode means immediate addressing direct addressing indirect addressing etc already you have studied in microcontroller that is more number of addressing modes will be in case of sysc less number of addressing modes in what risk then executing the instructions which will be taking the time varying time different different instructions in case of sysc varying time in case of sysc then in risc only what it will be take in only one single cycle it will be executing then pipelining means pipelining concept means in a single instruction in a single clock cycle the processor which will be executing more than one instruction that is called pipeline pipeline mechanism or pipeline concept in sysc pipelining is difficult it is not possible in case of risc it is possible then already we have discussed thumb instruction set that is arm it is totally uses 32 bit instructions here the one special feature will be there that is arm processor can be used for it has got separate 16 bit instruction it is a special 16 bit instructions will be there that is called the thumb instruction set then what low performance in a time critical code for compared to uh reg compared to arm then it does not include some instruction needed for exception handling then what here one diagram which will be showing embedded system hardware embedded system hardware it is the how the processor will works here first one arm processor which will be consisting of the elements arm processor interrupt controller ahb arbitrary then memory controller ahb external bridge ahb apb bridge ahb means arm high performance bus apb means arm peripheral bus it is a ahp apb bridge then real time clock then ethernet serial uart counters timers ethernet physical driver this is the block diagram of the embedded system hardware it consists of arm processor interrupt controller 
मेमरी कंट्रोलर ए एच बी एक्सटर्नल ब्रिज ए एच बी ए पी बी ब्रिज ए एच बी आर्म हाई परफॉर्मेंस ए पी बी आर्म पेरीफेरल ब्रिज रियल टाइम क्लॉक इथरनेट इट इज यूज फॉर द हाई स्पीड डेटा ट्रांसफर सीरियल यू ए आर टी यूनिवर्सल असिंक्रोनस रिसेप्शन ट्रांसमिशन देन कमिंग टू लेट एस स्टडी वन बाय वन आर्म प्रोसेसर इट इज अ वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर चिप दैट इज द आई सी वी कैन कनेक्टिंग इंटरप्ट कंट्रोलर इंटरप्ट मीन्स इट इज अ एक्सटर्नल रिक्वेस्ट टू दी प्रोसेसर देन कमिंग टू मेमरी कंट्रोलर हियर रॉम विल बी देर स्टैटिक रैम फ्लैश रॉम डी रैम डायनामिक रैम देन ए एच बी एंड ए पी बी मीन्स दीज आर कंसर्न विद द बसिस बस मीन्स इट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ लाइन्स हुईच विल बी कैरिंग सम इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड दी बस एड्रेस बस एंड डेटा बस डेटा बस मीन्स इट मे बी एट बिट डेटा सिक्सटीन बिट डेटा थर्टी टू बिट डेटा फॉर आवर आर्म प्रोसेसर वी आर यूजिंग थर्टी टू बिट बस डेटा बस इज थर्टी टू बिट देन मेमरी ऑल्सो मेमरी बस डेटा बस एड्रेस बस पर्टिक्युलर डेटा हुईच विल बी रिसाइड्स इन द मेमरी द ग्रुप ऑफ लाइन्स हुईच विल बी कैरिंग एड्रेस एड्रेस मीन्स फॉर पर्टिक्युलर एड्रेस द डेटा विल बी सेव्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड द आर्म पेरीपेरल ब्रिज आर्म हाई परफॉर्मेंस ब्रिज रियल टाइम क्लॉक इट इज कॉल्ड आर टी सी देन यूनिवर्सल असिंक्रोनस रिसेप्शन एंड ट्रांसमिशन काउंटर्स एंड टाइमर्स नौ द आर्म प्रोसेसर कंट्रोल्स द एम्बेडेड डिवाइस एंड आर्म प्रोसेसर कॉम्प्राइजिज अ कोर प्लस द सराउंडिंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट इंटरफेस विथ अ बस these components can include memory management and caches the cache memory you already studied in digital electronics which will be used for the fast speed of data transfer controllers coordinate important functional blocks of the system two commonly found controllers are interrupt controller and memory controller interrupt controller the data that is external request we we can get from the processor memory controller that is different memories s ram d ram etc we can control the data the peripherals provide all the input output capability external to the chip are responsible for the uniqueness of the embedded device then bus bus is used to communicate between different parts of the device it is called the bus that is it is a communication path from one point to another point peripherals outside world interaction of embedded systems a peripheral device performs input and output functions for the chip that is we can connect number of input output devices that is called on chip and off chip on chip means which are concerned on the motherboard it will be there off chip means external from the circuitry each peripheral device usually performs a single function then peripherals range from a simple serial communication to complex all arm peripherals are memory mapped the programming interface is a set of memory addressed registers specialized peripherals called controllers that implement higher levels functionality two important types memory controllers and interrupt controllers memory controllers connect different types of memory to the bus that is different types of the memory to the particular processor on power up 
a memory controller is configured to allow certain memory device to be active some memory devices must be set up by software memory controller connect different types of memory to the processor bus as shown in figure on power up memory controller is configured in a hardware to allow certain memory devices to be active some memory devices must be set up by software these are called the memory controllers we can control the whatever we are going to connecting different types of memory then interrupt controller interrupt is a request to the processor and interrupt controller provides a programmable that allows software to determine which peripheral or device can interrupt the processor at any specific time by setting the appropriate bits in the interrupt controller registers that is we are using or interrupt controllers the particular bits can be enabled or disabled we can recognize the external requests there are two types of interrupt controllers one is standard interrupt controller and the other one is factored interrupt controller this is concerned to that arm embedded system block diagram 